Hey, welcome to 23 Degrees Sideways. This is a, another COVID video. I did kick my tripod like I always do. Um, another COVID kids video, kind of. Like all of these apply more broadly, but I'm talking about them because of the COVID response, the COVID pandemic response and what it did to a lot of kids. This one's about making excuses. Um, you know, so this is not exclusive to you. This is something that I see quite often. I am used to seeing it in older populations, people who are older, um, sometimes mid-30s, usually it's more in the late 40s, early 50s range where I start to really see this come out and then it just goes on through life. And it's the idea of making excuses. I can't because. I would, but I can't because. Um, I don't know how to do that, and, I, and it's just too hard. Stuff like that. And we're talking about stuff that gets as simple as change your oil, check your brake pads, um, change the light bulb, you know, f fix the window in your house, um, you know, paint your bedroom. Little stuff. It's kind of technical but not super technical, grow, grow a window garden. You know, it doesn't have to be handyman stuff. Sometimes it's stuff like write a resume, you know, and the, there's this excuse thing. Um, and it gets into bigger stuff, bigger parts of life, like, you know, go back to school, uh, apply for these benefits or these scholarships, whatever it is, if it involves doing something, there's an excuse, a reason why you can't, a lacka or a canna. Lacka, lack of something, or a canna, cannot do something. These are just excuses. Now, I'm used to seeing these in older populations, people who are beat down, okay? There's the way they've experienced life, the way they've chosen to experience life or have been programmed to experience life. Everything beats them down. Uh, I'm not used to seeing this as much with teenage, older teenage and young 20s populations. And I'm seeing it a lot now. I have seen it. I've noticed this all the way back since I was a kid. I've kind of kept track of it. It looked like one of those things that didn't make sense to me, you know. And you can automatically get rid of this by getting enlightened. That's easy. You know, there's a there's a, a six-week, seven-week course. Starts for Saturday every month. It actually works for like 60% of the people. Go take it. It's fine. Ask me how. Um, I don't make any money off of this, but it works, right? Um, actually, maybe. No, no, I do mentoring for it, but it's free, so whatever. Go take the course. Now, something happened with the pandemic. Something happened with par parenting, okay? It's not just the pandemic. The pandemic kind of put the icing on the cake there, but the cake, the foundation, was made, was baked in the 80s and the 90s, okay? The kids of the 80s and the 90s. You know, it's this idea that you shouldn't have to figure it out or look or know or, or anything. And it got worse after the internet got big, which is very counter, um, counter to expectations because right now, let's say you do need to figure out if you have brakes on your car and how to change them and stuff and you don't have a lot of money, there are an endless number of YouTube videos. There will be YouTube videos for your specific make and year of car, okay? Not just how to change the brakes on a Ford F-150, but if you happen to have a 91, like I do, or a 96, like my friend does, they're different, they're different, they're a different generation, they actually have different brakes. You can find a video or a set of videos, probably half a dozen for your individual year. There are thousands of how to change your brake pads or shoes, drum brakes in the back of older pickup trucks, videos, thousands of these videos. So it's not hard. Watch a couple, spend a little bit of time. You're gonna spend an hour, hour and a half on this, this, this part of the research. Order the parts. The, the parts companies will guarantee the fit. And if it doesn't fit, you just call them and send it back. They, they include return labels in the package. 
if you need it. You know, this is really simple. And, you know, it's going to be $70 worth of parts. And there's, there's all the little tips and all the little tricks will be in the videos. And if you run into any trouble, you're going to join a forum. All right? Now, a forum is an internet place. And it's an old internet place. Like, Peter, this is old school stuff, okay? People join and they talk to each other. On a, on a kind of a message board thing. And it's not real time, it's not on, well, it could be on your phone, but it's not on your phone, it's not smiley emoji stuff, it's just people typing questions and comments and sharing events. And of course, it's the internet, so there's gonna be dicks. You know, prepare yourself if you ask how to figure out how to reset the caliper on your brake because you really cannot figure it out on this video and you watch this video, there's gonna be three or four people who are gonna be a bag of dicks and, and say stupid shit. But there's also going to be five or seven people who are going to help you. There's probably going to be one who will take you into private message and literally walk you through the thing step by step. Even get on the phone with you if you're having that much trouble. All right? That's an easy one, right? Breaks. There's more complicated stuff. Water heaters. You know, there's, there's the internet. Th there's always the internet police. You can't do this without a licensed contractor. Whatever. Don't care. Okay, that's not the point at all. Um, but you gotta stop making excuses, okay? All the research is available to you. All of, everything you need is there. It's very little effort to find that out. It's very little effort to ask for help, okay? I don't know why this is so hard, but that's the first thing to do. Stop making excuses, go look for solutions. If the solution is, I can't do this because it's just a little too complicated. Say we're talking about spark plugs on a minivan, transverse six. So it's a sideways six cylinder and you have to take the entire air and take off to get to the rear of spark plug. At least you know what the job involves, what the problem is. You can go to a mechanic and you can be like, I can get this far on this job, but I can't do this. I can't get here. You know, I need help with this. If there's any, you know, if there's a money problem, I can do this part of the work, or I can bring you this part, or something, you know? You've done the effort, you've made the effort, okay? They're going to treat you differently from, oh, uh, you know? And they're probably gonna be honest with their work. People, it's really common for auto shops to not do those rear spark plugs because, well, it takes two hours, you know? That kind of stuff all works. Make the effort to stop making excuses. This is the key part of the video where you get the, the, the tagline, the thing you write down on your note card or your Google Keep or your flashcards or whatever, your wall, your whiteboard, your yellow sticky collection. Make the effort to stop making excuses. You've been hammered. You're the COVID generation. You got absolutely fucked by being stuck indoors at two year, for two years of a very critical phase of your psychological development. Okay, and it hap it's been happening to increasingly large numbers of people as the generations have gone on. There were people in Gen X who, who had this as teenagers. I can't do it. It's too hard. There's an excuse. I don't know how. I don't know how to fight, figure it out. I'm just not smart. And then the millennials. Okay, so they took it in order of magnitude instead of like 1 or 3% or something. It became like 30%, you know. Gen Z is not much different, but then you're stuck with the COVID thing, and it was actually mandated. You were required to make excuses to not do stuff. Okay, you gotta you gotta get out of that. You gotta stop making excuses. Okay, that's all there is to it. Um, that's it. There's resources everywhere. There's tons and tons of resources. Anything you need to do, anything you need to research, you can get, you can get a theoretical, not practical, level of medical knowledge that's equivalent to an MD for free online if you just study. Anything you want is there. All of the information is there. Several of the Ivy League universities have put out in their entire course rooms free. <coughs> no excuses. Learn how to stop making excuses, okay? Figure out the, the problem. If you can't figure out the problem, ask for help. There's always people who will help you define the problem. And if the people who... You're going to run into the people who are going to push you into their problem, not your problem, 
just ask someone else, you know? Or if you figure out that they're trying to push you on their problem and not your problem, you've defined your problem. State your problem. Then work your problem. You do have to work the problem. Not something else, not some excuse, not some inability. You have to work the problem. Something else for your yellow stickies. Work the problem. Okay? That's all I got for this one. There's going to be more. And uh, good luck. Stay sideways.